So last video, we talked to the bullies. This video is strictly for the bully kids. Hi, guys. <laughs> My people. Now, here's the thing. Um, I want you to understand something. Like I said in the last video, I was the bullied kid and I got the shit at home as well as at school because my sister was a rancid evil bitch. So I had to deal with it on like every fucking front, except not nearly the shit you have to deal with, with the cyber age these days. And I want you to understand something. These bullies, they're essentially baby sociopaths. Your response their ability to bully you, they feed on that. They need it. It is required for their very survival. You take that away and they start to suffocate because they don't know what to do with themselves. Their very mental survival depends on their ability to victimize someone else. These are serial killers in the making. Just saying. And I want you to understand that at the core, every bully is actually a coward. So let me give you a tip. This is what I used to do. I was probably in about middle school when, when I developed this technique. These people are very limited, mentally speaking. Okay, so they use the same insults repeatedly. So what I would do is I would lay in bed at night and I would think of every fucked up thing they said to me that day. And I would think of one or two different comebacks that I could use the next time they inevitably use that fucking insult. And it got to the point where I was very quick on the uptake. I, I became quick drama McGraw, <laughs> and I scared the shit out of them because they didn't know what to do with me. And here's the funny thing. A lot of those bullies are now my friends <laughs> 20 years later. And I think it's because they learned to respect me because they learned to see that I, you know, I could dish it out every bit as good as I could take it. <laughs> and then the, in, when I was a kid, several studies were done and one really resonated with me. And this one, they pulled a bunch of different criminals in different prisons around the country, rapists, muggers, you know, that sort of shit. And they discovered that they chose their victims based on their stance, how they walk. So if you're very fearful or you're very unassuming and you're just, you know, you're just trying to stay out of the way. That's the one they go for. Whereas if you have a straight spine, shoulders back, head straight, and you just sort of barrel through, that's the one they avoid because they don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Not only that, but, you know, I also developed this technique of just not giving a shit. Okay, so you called me fucking ugly, or you called me pizza face, or you called me, you know, whatever. By the way, good job on fucking having an original insult, you douche, because <laughs> really, did it take you all night to think that one up? Isn't it dangerous to use all of one's vocabulary in a single sentence? Really? Um, I, I, you know, it just, it didn't phase me because I realized that they needed my response to survive. You're going to find assholes wherever you go. Unfortunately, I wish I could give you better news. Fortunately, when you're an adult, you've got more avenues. But think of this. If anybody tells you to kill yourself, take that shit to the police because that's considered harassment. That's stalking at the very least. And in some states, the parents of your bully can be charged. That'll be fun. Let them explain that shit to mommy and daddy. Also, realize that every bully is guilty of menacing, assault, battery. These are legal charges and you can bring legal ramifications if need be. So just think on that. Remember that. And I want you to take this away, guys. It does get better. I know it's hard to hear that and it's hard to hold on. But it does get better. You're not going to deal with them forever. And the future assholes that you do have to deal with, you won't have to deal with nearly as much as you deal with these dickheads. I promise. It does get better. And you will make it through. And while you're on the upswing, they're going to be on the downswing. So karma is a bitch. And she barely tolerates us. I'm going to go ahead and leave you there. I will make another video just for you. Thank you for watching.